Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. In this video tutorial, we are going to consider another instruction for PIC-18 F microcontroller. But this video tutorial would be very different from compared to the previous uh, tutorials because we have been discussing or using your our uh, the data RAM, right? Or the file register or simple RAM. But PIC-18 F microcontroller has a program available uh, with a very large size. And you know that our usual application doesn't need that much amount of uh, storage for only purpose of code, right? So we can utilize that program of memory, not only for the code, but some for fixed data, right? So, and for that purpose, we have an, uh, uh, some assembler directive and one of them we are going to discuss that is DB. DB is defined uh, byte. You can also say define byte, right? So it will define byte size uh, data in program memory and that will be fixed for complete program. You cannot change it because since it is written in your program memory, you can't modify it, but you can utilize. And it is very useful in many applications. For example, if you are converting a hexadecimal to, la to ASCII's or uh, you are using a lookup table for key paid uh, ASCII uh, conversion, right? So for that purpose, defined by it could be very helpful. So let's uh, understand how it works, right? For example, we know that there, there could be a large number of addresses and maybe we, our main program is written on originate 00. So our main program is starting on, ori uh, on 00, but still there is a space available after a certain time. For example, it can go up to let's say 200 lines or 200 hacks, right? This is the maximum address. It's quite large program. If you are trying to convert it, yes, it is very, very large. It's more than uh, one lakh locations, right? So that means, or 100,000 locations, right? So that means after that, there is still available memory and you want to utilize it. For example, I want to utilize memory after 500 or at start, starting at the 500, zero, zero hex, right? So I can use this defined byte, let's say DB. Uh, and since I want to make a fixed data, so I will label it, let's say it is data one, defined byte, and I will simply write uh, the data. And remember, data can be in PIC-18 F microcontroller, can be ASCII, can be binary, can be decimal, or it can be hexadecimal, right? So if, if I simply write two, four, so definitely it will need some uh, notation for the binary num uh, for number system. So let's say I will write two four hex. That means this data one uh, value is two four hex and it is stored at 500 hex, right? Furthermore, you can also choose another data. Let's say data two and define byte and I'm gonna use it uh, uh, in decimal. So it can be D12, right? In decimal. You can also take some data three, let's say in binary, I'm going to take some example so that you understand it. So in binary, you know that uh, you can write eight bit information. So one triple zero, one triple zero, right? And then you can use data four. I'm trying to give you every possible aspect. That is why they, again DB for defined byte. And this time I'm going to use ASCII character. Let's say ASCII character zero. Okay. So uh, this is going to be stored. So you know that uh, this will, this is a byte, this is another byte, this is another byte, and this is another byte because we are talking about standard ASCII, right? So if I'm, uh, if I'm going to execute our code, of course, uh, at the end of uh, somewhere at the end of your code, definitely you will be writing and original and uh, directive. But uh, beside that, if you execute that code, what is going to happen in the program memory. Of course, your main code will be written, but at location 500, right? So location 500 in the program memory. You, you remember your program memory address goes up to five times zeros to one FF hex, right? This is the, uh, this is the uh, range available for program memory and it is around two million byte locations, right? Or two megabyte locations, right? So location 501, Hertz, right? This is a 501 hertz location. We are talking about 501 hertz. And this is basically holding value of in hexadecimal 24 hertz, right? 
again one more perspective of the kdnf microcontroller it is a little indian it uh, and it works on even address boundary so 501 is a valve is basically you utilize for uh, sorry 500 i was talking about 500 because we originated at 500 so next byte should be stored at 501 but since this defined byte is uh, fixing the size of only one byte right so that is why and we know that every time we write information we will be writing on even addresses so next address will be written on 502 hex we can say that we are missing with one space in between them right so next uh, location will be written on 502 and it is it will be our data too and that will be decimal 12 and if you convert in decimal 12 in hexadecimal it will be 0c hex right so i was saying you can say that 501 is not utilized for this program we are right right so this is the deficiency you can't write two bytes of information using defined byte so there, there we come for defined words which we will be covering in uh, coming tutorial but in this tutorial we are just focusing on defined byte so defined byte will store on even addresses right because i have mentioned 500 so 500 that next would be 502 next would be 504 and then 504 right so so this is how uh, sorry 506 right so next would be what 504 and it will be binary uh, this one so you know that if i am going to convert it into hexadecimal 100 100 it is going to be in hexadecimal how much uh, it will be 88 hex right and similarly the next information will be stored in another even address which is 50 hex and that information will be ascii uh, equivalent of this zero so ascii equivalent of zero in hexadecimal is 30 hex so these values will be stored after the uh, uh, execution of this code right so uh, remember i have already told you there is a deficiency uh, you cannot write on odd addresses for this purpose we will have another uh, directive but this standard directive could be very useful when if you are writing on only on uh, even addresses i hope this video tutorial was uh, informative for you because we have learned a way how you can store uh, fixed data on your program memory still if you have any confusion or queries regarding this uh, fixed data storage on program memory you can post your queries in comment section thank you so much for listening